Today we're talking about America's newest piece of bad guy to baloney mist technology. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rapid Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it looks like. It is a pallet full of cruise missiles that they yeet out the back of a cargo plane, and then as it's floating towards the ground, all the cruise missiles deploy, take off, and go engage their target. Okay, do you understand how significant this is? America, that's world-renowned for our logistical capabilities, just made our supply chain even shorter. Usually, you gotta put your cruise missiles on the cargo plane, fly them to whatever base, take them off the cargo plane, take them out, load them onto whatever bomber they're gonna go on, and then the bomber takes off and goes and delivers the cruise missile. Now it's just f it, we'll throw it out the back on the way there. Uncle Sam has successfully cut cut out the middleman. He is both literally and figuratively drop shipping freedom to the enemy. And I'm just gonna level with you, it might be the deadliest side hustle of all time. I mean, it's gotta be between this and that time he started a power washing business in the 1940s. And here's the other thing, this system is completely self-contained, meaning that you can literally wheel this pallet onto any cargo plane that it'll fit on and throw it out the back and it's gonna work just fine. The crew's not gonna require any special training and the plane isn't gonna require any special modifications, meaning that this weapon system just turned every American cargo plane and maybe every cargo plane in NATO into a mobile missile silo. Buh, this is such a dumb idea because you could just shoot down a cargo plane really easy. They have no air defenses, buh. And that would be a terrific point if we were dropping bombs. These aren't bombs. These are AGM-158 JASM cruise missiles. Each one of these things weighs 2,200 pounds and is equipped with a 1,000 pound bunker buster warhead. After they get deployed from the pallet, they're capable of traveling up to 600 miles by themselves to engage their target. And to give you a real brief idea of just how far 600 miles actually is, I've taken the liberty of coming up with several examples where I've just ran Randomly, randomly picked two major cities and measured between them. So we have exhibit A. Again, I picked these cities completely at random for no reason whatsoever. And then we have exhibit B. Just saying. Did I mention that JASM cruise missiles are low profile and extremely hard to counter? So obviously this is absolutely terrifying to America's would-be enemies. I mean, there's been multiple headlines this week alone that all read something like this. Quote, Chinese military experts alarmed by the US Air Force's capability to launch cruise missiles from cargo aircraft. I mean, do you have any idea how hard it is to get communists to actually admit that they're scared? Usually they're too busy starving to death to acknowledge fear. And buckle up because it's about to get even scarier. A C-130 cargo plane can carry three of these pallets with six missiles apiece. A C-17, on the other hand, can carry five pallets with nine cruise missiles apiece. I'm trying to tell you that a single C-130 can drop 45 cruise missiles from 600 miles away and engage 45 completely different targets all at once. And for that reason, not only is it terrifying to America's would-be enemies, but it should be absolutely terrifying to the American taxpayer, because this shit is fucking expensive. Each one of those missiles costs $1,266,000 a piece, and we're about to yeet 45 of them out of the back of a moving plane all at once. That's $56,970,000. Could you imagine being the person that gets to throw that parachute out that rips all those missiles out of the plane. This guy right here. Okay, that person's called the crew chief and we're just gonna go out on a limb and say that they're an E6. They're a staff sergeant. Okay, the average staff sergeant makes about $41,000 a year. I'm trying to tell you that that guy just threw 1,389 years worth of his salary out of the back door of a plane in a matter of half a second. I don't know what to do with that information. It's just, it's just one of those weird things. About to hit the enemy with more money than I'll ever make in my entire life. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, America's newest weapon system, the Rapid Dragon. Rapid obviously referring to how quickly this weapon can be deployed by simply wheeling it onto any cargo plane and yeeting it out the back, and Dragon referring to what Uncle Sam's gonna be doing with his nutsack all over the enemy objective. The only reason this weapon's legal is because it's never a war crime the first time. Thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang, out.